we have something called as sanatana dharma. Sanatana means eternal, timeless. Dharma does not mean religion, dharma means a law. So they were talking about eternal laws which govern life and how we can be in tune with it. Right now, whether you've been to school or not, whether you're a great scientist or not, still, right now you are complying by all the physical laws on this planet. Yes or no? Hmm? Otherwise you couldn't sit here and exist. So similarly, there are other kinds of laws which are not physical in nature, which govern the life process within you. So they identified these things and they said, these are the laws which govern one's life. But over a period of time, every enthusiastic person that came from generation to generation went on adding their own stuff according to the necessity of the day or according to the necessity of the vested interests of the day. In so many ways, it's happened all kinds and people added many things. But essentially, your sanatana dharma is just this. Sanatana dharma identifies a human being cannot rest. Do what you want, you, he cannot rest because he longs to be something more than what he is right now. You cannot stop it. You teach him any kind of philosophy, you cannot stop it. Whoever he is, he wants to be little more than who he is right now. If that little more happens, he will seek little more and little more. So if you look at it, every human being unconsciously is longing to expand in a limitless way. So every human being unconsciously is looking for a boundless nature or a limitless possibility. Or in other words, every human being knowingly or unknowingly has an allergy for boundaries. When you threaten his existence, his instinct of self-preservation will, will build walls of self… you know, protection for himself. The same walls of protection, when there is no external threat, immediately he experiences it as walls of self-imprisonment. So they recognized this and said, every human being is long and limitless. So the first thing that you must do, the moment a child becomes reasonably conscious, the first thing that you must put into the child's mind is, your life is about mukti, about liberation. Everything else is secondary because the only thing that you're truly longing for is to expand in a limitless way. There is something within you which can't stand boundaries. So for this, what are the things you should do to head in that direction? They set up simple rules. If you do this, this and this, you will naturally move in this direction. You can't call this a religion, okay? Because this is a place where you have been given the freedom, you can make up your own God, 